hi you guys welcome back to my channel i am filming a little like day in my life um it is about a week after school has ended and so i have just been relaxing and not really doing that much hanging out with friends going outside and just lots of rest and doing nothing because i honestly just miss that about summer um anyways today is june 10th thursday june 10th and if you guys are seeing this vlog you have already seen that i obviously made the announcement that we are pregnant today is um just a fun day because i'm going to do i'm gonna run like a lot of errands today i want to go to target look in the dollar section I know this is bad, but I'm already thinking about looking at the teacher stuff because I feel like it is just better to find the things now. Like I know I shouldn't have to worry about it right now, but I feel like it's better to find these things now before they get sold out and then I'm stuck just like scrounging for things. So I like to get the things right before um, school starts and just kind of accumulate things. I like to be over prepared if you can't tell. I just made myself some avocado toast and it looks beautiful. I will show you guys. Um, I use the Dave's Killer Bread. It's like the 17 grains one and then I just put some avocado on there obviously. And then I literally just season um, the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's on there. That's all I put and I love it. So um, there you go. The lighting's a little bit better. Anyways, I want to go to Target today to look at that stuff, and then I want to go to Michael's. Apparently, they're having like a 60% off um, decor, summer decor sale. I want to do that. If you guys didn't know, Brandon, my husband, is in the Navy. Right now, he's doing some like Navy training, like a Navy internship in Virginia, so I am just stuck in my house all alone. I mean, I'm with my dog, Junie, and... The guinea pigs but i'm trying to find things to do and just keep myself busy but honestly i like being alone um but obviously not for a long period of time <laughs> one of the main reasons i wanted to go to michael's is because i want to look at the decor stuff to see if i can start planning out the nursery and i know it's like a long shot today i am 13 weeks and three days almost i'll almost be 14 weeks on monday which is in my second trimester, which is so crazy. I feel like now that I've announced it, everything's been like flying by um, and it's just so exciting. Like I am so excited for pregnancy. I'm so excited for like everything that comes with pregnancy. Anyways, this video is not like a pregnancy update or anything like that. It's more just catching up and running errands with me. I wanted to start like getting things ready for the nursery because like I said before, I like being over prepared. This summer is really the only summer that I have off, obviously before the baby is born. Baby is due in December. And so I don't wanna be stressing out like during the school you're trying to get things figured out. I wanna do it now. So then just like my classroom setups, I had everything kind of prepared like months before, like just accumulating things, figuring out like how I want the nursery to look like anyways i'm going to eat my avocado toast i'll give you guys like a little mini bump date in a second um after i get ready and things and eat my toast doing my normal skincare um if you can't tell already pregnancy has um really changed my skin I have lots of texture on my skin. I just have random pimples here and there and textured skin. It's not fun, but I would take this over um, having like pregnancy sickness, which I have not had at all, like zero. So yeah, that's the main thing that has changed my skin. The hormones are just crazy and I've said this before, my skin is sensitive and I think my body just reacts, you know, in that way. Um, I still keep it simple. I'm still using this. I know that when you're pregnant, your skin can darken or um, you just want to protect your skin. Like the darkening of the skin can happen 
I don't really know. And since I'm having pimples and probably some scarring will happen, I'm just making sure to use my bio oil. I talked about this in one of my last vlogs, the last week of school vlog. I've still been using that. I also use that on my belly um, to prevent like any stretch marks slash the darkening of the belly button and stuff. So anyway, I'm just gonna get ready. I'll do a time lapse. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and then we'll get going. Alright guys, that is all I'm gonna do. I am just trying to let my skin breathe a little bit this summer. Um, I spent like all day at the pool yesterday. Usually the sun kind of helps it out, but I wanted to show you guys my little bump. So let me go to my room. So I know this is probably a weird angle. Don't mind the background, but this is what the bump looks like. It is pretty early in the day. I mean, all I've had was one thing of avocado toast and some coffee this morning. It's definitely just towards the bottom section, as you guys can see. I'm not pushing out or anything. This is just what it looks like. If I was pushing out, I would not be able to breathe. <laughs> but that's kind of what it looks like in the front. Nothing crazy. Obviously, I'm only in my 13 weeks. I'm going to wash my sheets today. And Junie and I have just been having the best cuddles haven't we she loves just like laying up against me every night and she loves laying on our pillows too just like a little human that you are <laughs> okay so i'm trying to pick out clothes and i just realized that i have not changed out my winter clothes so i have so many long sleeves and this is like my short sleeve section and tank tops so i need to go downstairs and like get all my summer clothes and put them back in because I feel like I'm struggling what to wear, um, so yeah, let's do that soon. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. Um, it's just a dress. It's kind of wrinkly, but I just want to be comfortable, and I feel like recently I just don't even want to wear shorts or anything that is restricting here because it's just not as comfy. I need to get my dresses all sorted and everything because a lot of them are getting small but i just want to make sure that i have plenty of clothes i can just throw on um during this time okay before i leave i wanted to show you guys what i have in my box um for teacher style box i always put the code like the link down below if you guys want to do a free month trial or if you just want a discount if you are already subscribed to the subscription i'm very very excited for these new things all summer pieces this would be really cute for like a gender reveal thing it's like half purple half white and it's really tight this is like a really loose romper lots and lots of dresses i have like a jumpsuit this one i am in love with it's like a linen dress but it's also collared i think it's so cute hopefully you guys can see this okay right now on the way to my house is these two items i have this super cute romper um these are really nice brands it's like the brand F Faherty. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but um, they're really good quality. I haven't tried them yet, but I see them a lot on Teacher Style Box, so I'm really excited to get these. So as you guys can see, like these are really pricey items, and you get them for, you know, you get to borrow them, basically. So I'm really excited for these two to come in. Time for a little car haul. If you guys see all that stuff in the back, that is some stuff that I took home from school, like my rocking chair and a desk that I had. Another teacher was moving in and we used her classroom like as a storage space. So now I was just like, yeah, I should probably take all those things home. So they're still in the back. I just went to Target and Aerie and that was about it. No luck with the Target dollar spot. There was just like 4th of July stuff. There are like some tubs that are really nice that would be good for storage, but I have no use for those right now. But I'll show you guys what I got from Target first. I'm obsessed with this swimsuit. It's very like 70s orange print with some floral. Very, very cute. I actually have this style already in lavender and I really like 
these because they're adjustable on the sides obviously and they're not super high cut which I know is not going to be my vibe. I want the low cut, something that just won't restrict the belly. And then I got the top which is also super cute. It looks really comfy. Um, no wiring which I really appreciate and yeah I got a medium because it kind of looks just a little small. And so I just wanted to size up just in case. I mean, obviously I'm gonna fit into it. It's not that big of a deal if it's too big right now. I got some CeraVe. This is a new bottle. I've never seen this before. I ran out of my old CeraVe and I've been using the Hydro Boost face wash. I like that, but I think I need to go back to CeraVe for my skin. This actually is the Renewing Cleanser. It says it gently cleanses and exfoliates while softening and smoothing the skin. It has ceramides and salicylic acid. And I'm pretty sure salicylic acid is one of the things that you can use on your skin while pregnant. I'm really excited for this. I love CeraVe. This is one of my favorite purchases because I just love face wash. And then I got Brandon a little birthday card. His birthday's coming up. It says dreams come dreams do come true and then the inside says because I'm with you happy birthday to the most amazing husband his birthday is coming up he's gonna be in Virginia so I wanted to send him um I want to send him a card I want to send him like crumble cookies to wherever he's staying and then maybe get him like a massage gift card or something so I'll need to plan that out soon since his birthday is like in a week from now and then I went to Aerie. I tried on a bunch of things, but honestly, I just wasn't feeling anything. Um, so the two main things I got were bras. So um, lots of my bras still fit, but my sports bras especially are super tight, like underneath my band and stuff. So I got this bralette. I got two of them. It has like adjustable straps and everything. It is so stretchy, so comfortable. It's literally a sports bra and bra at the same time. Removable pads. So I like that. I got it in a size medium. I tried the small on and it's a little tight so um dude comfiest bra slash bralette i've ever tried on and i got the nude version in a medium as well and they're 30 percent off so i got them for 27 and that is all i have for right now i'm gonna go to michael's now so hopefully i find some good things there but i'm done just clothes shopping it's making me tired <laughs> isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen i got this from a flea market but it's so cute i love it I made a pit stop at Chick-fil-A. I'm so hungry. It's it's two o'clock and I have, I mean, I ate the avocado toast, but your girl couldn't wait. It's Chick-fil-A is right down the street from Michael's. So I got a regular fry, which I always get. Honestly, during this pregnancy, I've been obsessed with fries. Like I'd rather eat fries than a regular meal. I got the 12 piece nugget. I am like, 100% always a spicy chicken deluxe sandwich, but since the pregnancy or something, I don't know. I just haven't been really into the chicken sandwiches. Um, I think it's because of the cheese and like all of the sauce that it comes with. Chick-fil-A sauce. And I got a diet lemonade. I heard somewhere on Instagram that this is really good. Their lemonade is. Um, I mean, I don't know. It just tastes like normal lemonade to me. It's really strong. Like it's a nice lemonade, but Good. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and my Chick-fil-A sauce. And then I'll show you guys, I'll probably show you guys everything that I got at home. So I'm not just sitting in my car this whole vlog. <laughs> All the cute things, 50% off. Hi guys, it is like a few, more like a couple hours later. I got home after I ate Chick-fil-A. Um, I actually didn't buy anything at Michael's. I couldn't find anything that I liked, to be honest with you. Um, the sale was, there was a sale, like I showed you guys, but it wasn't good enough for me to be like, whoo. I've talked about this on my Instagram before, but I usually don't buy things unless it's like super cheap or I really need it. Cause like I found this super cute like boho basket that would work so perfectly in a nursery. It had like little pom-poms on it, but like it was still 20 bucks and I'm not, I definitely will not spend 20 bucks on a basket. I'll spend like five bucks. So I probably just need to start at Goodwill where is my OG spot anyways, just for small things like a basket. Took a nap after because I was just exhausted. Like anything that I do for long periods of time now, 
I'm just tired and ready to nap and I can do that now because it's summer. I want to show you the swimsuit that I got so I have it on. I'm going to show you in a second but I'm also going to go to the gym after this because I just need like if I'm taking a nap I need to do something like take a walk or go to the gym or something to move my body because I feel like a major bum. This is the swimsuit. I hope you guys can see this well. Is that better? So here is the swimsuit. I think it's so cute. This is a medium top, guys. I'm so happy I got the medium because, I mean, honestly, I don't know if this will fit anymore. This is a medium and it's like super tight. So maybe I'll just have to like, there's no adjustable ties or anything. Um, and I have it on the, the biggest like extender, but I think I'll just need to like loosen this up. A little bit somehow <laughs> super cute still honestly just supportive and it's still comfortable and the bottoms um they're a little snug like right here but obviously you can adjust those super tiny bikini bottom guys my bump gets huge um once it gets late yeah once it gets late it's like big because they say something about like how your muscles loosen up by the end of the day so i'll show you guys a little mirror moment here's me when i try to flex it just gets hard. There's a side when I try to flex. And then when I let go. So much better. <laughs> I love the vibe of this swimsuit. I can kind of make it like a high cut thing too. And it doesn't feel uncomfortable. So yeah, I dig this one. It is time to get dressed and go to the gym. And I think I'm going to do like some triceps, some chest, shoulders possibly. Um... The other day I went to the gym and I did legs and my legs still hurt from it because I haven't gone to the gym in so long. So of course I'm going to be sore. I will try to take you guys in there with me a little bit, probably just with my phone because we don't want to be weird in there. I'm still drinking my Chick-fil-A. Also, I switched gym memberships by the way. If you guys didn't know, I was at Planet Fitness before. I switched over to a place called The Arc man i love the arc <laughs> and it might sound so weird but it's basically like a it's a recreational center so there's like basketball you can go swimming indoor swimming there's the gym obviously like a huge track um there's like spin classes yoga classes a bunch of things but the main reason why i like it is because one i can go swimming like after my workouts if i want to two there's a lot of old people there um, there's like great discounts for seniors and stuff. So it makes just, it just makes me feel more comfortable when there's older people. It's so quiet there. I mean, there's still people obviously, but there's not like a bunch of people like working out super hard. Since I'm not doing that, I'm not digging that vibe anymore. I decided I would go to the arc and just start working out there because honestly it feels like I'm at a spa when I'm there. I don't know why. It's like the big windows. It's a good feeling. So let's go get dressed all right we are ready now I usually wouldn't wear this to the gym but I honestly am just wearing anything that will make me comfortable this is honestly kind of like a weird outfit for me I never wear long tank tops but I've said this it just the long tank tops are the most comfortable thing right now and honestly I'm not a fan of wearing just biker shorts with a tank top to the gym but I don't have any gym shorts that are comfortable like right here so I'm just gonna have to do this. This is a judgment-free zone.
done with my workout. Woo, I feel good. After every workout, after every workout, I feel 100 times better and I'm so happy that I went. Um, I did film some clips in there as you guys are probably seeing before, but I just focused on triceps, chest, and shoulders, and at the very end, you guys saw me do some Kegel movements. It's supposed to be good for pregnancy, so here I am. I just do like 50 of those to finish off my workout. Also, after every workout, I try to take Juni on a little walk because one, she needs to exercise and it just helps me cool down and enjoy the weather. Even though it's steamy hot, I don't mind it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home, drink my protein while I take Juni on a walk and I'll see you guys at home. She knows after I come home for a workout, I usually ask her if she wants to go on a WALK so she always looks at me. Do you? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna go on a walk? Do you wanna go on a walk? Yes or no? <laughs> uh, we got new kitchen floors by the way. I never showed you guys this, but here's the update. It looks so good. Makes the kitchen so much brighter, but do you wanna go on a walk with mama? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Junie Cam, do you want to go on a walk? Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. We're going to go in just a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that golden hour lighting. Um, okay, so I just got back from the walk. It is steamy hot, but... There's like some kids down the street that like mowing the grass. Um, so I think his like little summer gig is just mowing lawns. And because Brandon's not here right now, I need someone to mow the lawn. Um, I was going to have my dad and my brother come do it. But I was like, you know what? How nice would it be if I asked him? So he's going to come over in a second, give me a quote and stuff, and um, mow the lawn for me. Okay, while they're mowing right now, do you guys ever feel like it's super weird when you have people over and you're about to go shower or like I really need to go shower and <laughs> I don't know I feel like it's so hard to go do something whenever you know like what if someone needs my help or like they're right outside and they're ringing the doorbell and I'm like in the shower um but while I'm here say hi Wubby hey Wubby okay so if you guys didn't know apparently whenever you're pregnant oh my gosh I feel like I literally keep saying like whenever you're pregnant or can't do this or you have to do that you can have the guinea pigs but you have to have someone else to have someone else like clean up their feces because the feces and stuff can have like a bacteria that's not good for the baby um so what i've been doing is i kept the guinea pigs here um i don't want to give them away or anything just yet but i've been cleaning up their cage and stuff like with gloves i make sure to wash my hands like anytime i touch them or anytime i touch the cage and stuff just to be extra safe let me know if you guys have had guinea pigs while you're pregnant let me know if you know what you think if anyone is out there with guinea pigs and were pregnant at all there's wubby you guys know squishies not a huge fan of the camera or anyone really but there's the guinea pig cam that's my good boy how will be so yeah honestly i just haven't been really picking them up or petting them and if i do pet them i just make sure to go wash my hands but it is kind of a hassle my doctor just said do you have any you know other animals i said i had guinea pigs and they said it's okay as long as someone else picks up their feces just like you wouldn't um change cat litter if you were pregnant but they didn't say anything about you know getting rid of them so i have talked to my doctor about it but i just wanted to know your guys opinions if you have any you know background knowledge on that i'm about to go get in the shower try out that new face wash i know it's not going to do anything in one night but um, I'm gonna go try it out because I'm really excited about skincare and stuff. So these pimples, like I have three ginormous ones. This one hurts the most, but I just can feel it throbbing. All right, so I skipped out on washing my hair tonight, but same skincare routine. And 
And then I go in with some bio oil. And then I like to go in with my little jade roller, just a little bit. Help depuff the skin. And it feels really good. And then I just massage it in one last time. And I just go in with a small pump of CeraVe. Once that is all done, I'm just gonna go all over this with my body. It's the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Lotion. I put this all over my body and then I go in with this on my belly. Alrighty y'all, I am in my comfy clothes. Cocoa butter all over my body so it looks a little greasy but honestly I love using it. It is so nice and it makes your skin kind of glowy. So I'm going to just end the vlog off here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you are so excited for more vlogs to come with just pregnancy and everything that comes with pregnancy. So I am hoping to share a lot of it with you guys. This video is probably going to go up right before um, telling our friends and family, which I am so excited for that video. I feel like that's going to be one of my favorite videos ever. I've already started editing it and I included my students reaction in there too. Um, I didn't show any faces or anything. I just showed myself. I'm so excited for you guys to see the rest of the vlogs. Oh my gosh. I'm already out of breath guys. Anyway, I'm so excited for you guys to see the rest of the vlogs and I hope you guys stick around um, to see those things and just follow this journey along with me as I go through it as a first year mom or as a first time mom. Oh my gosh, teaching and mom life is mixing me up. I'm still going to have lifestyle content. I'm still going to have teaching content, but now it's going to be a lot more lifestyle in there. So anyway, um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all next time. Bye.